dear friends <coughs> good evening to you all once again i welcome you all for another beautiful session on control system today we will see the lecture number 20 it is lecture number 20 in this lecture again i would like to explain you another important model or another important question based on the mechanical translational system okay so let us see question number 1 so <clears throat> this is the system given this is something like this this is called reference these are the references actually so you are given here there is one block is there of having mass m1 and here you have spring it is k1 <clears throat> and then normally sometimes it will be represented like this as i have explained in last class here it is given as some f1 <clears throat> or sometimes b1 also as we have seen in last example it it can be given as b1 also but remember that is a friction coefficient okay so there is another block similar block is given this is with m2 that is the mass element here it is given as f2 and between these two masses there is a common element which is called f and there is a common spring constant also this is the common spring constant here it is given as x in bracket it is also given as output it is given in the problem itself that it is output f of t is the applied force this is the applied force <coughs> so this is the given problem in which you are asking that obtain the transfer function the question is this obtain the transfer function tf obtain the transfer function for the given mechanical system this is the given question now we solve this question <clears throat> this is the given problem in which we have two mass elements this is mass element 1 and if you carefully observe this 
with respect to the mass element m1 what are the various uh, elements that are associated with this the, there is k1 spring constant again k1 why because it is the first mass element that's why it is m1 so with respect to m1 there is a spring constant k1 and it is called the dash part or friction coefficient f1 between the mass the mass of the body as well as the reference so between these two there kind of some small amount of friction will be established friction will be there that is called your f1 and coming to the second this is your m2 mass element m2 and then it is again reference because it is the reference between reference and their mass there is a possibility of having friction coefficient f2 and in between these two these two are called common elements here because these two f1 and k f again it is a dash part nothing but friction coefficient only and this is the k spring constant these two are common because common for both m1 and m2 and here m2 the uh, displacement given is x <coughs> sorry and f of t is the applied force that is normally applied on mass element m2 so this is the basic problem is given now for this problem you are asking that to find out the transfer function always remember that so the transfer function is nothing but you must in order to find out the transfer function you need to have output as well as you need to have the input okay for the output you have to take the laplace transformation of output and you have to take the laplace transformation of input also then if you take the ratio of laplace transformation of output by the laplace transformation of input and this ratio is called the transfer function as i already explained in our previous session or in previous lecture is that so always remember that the applied force f of t shall be considered as input in this mechanical translational system so your input is applied force applied force is nothing but your input whereas the corresponding displacement x is nothing but the displacement for the applied force how much is the displacement displacement is the output applied force is input displacement is output so in the problem itself is given as this one now so f of t is it is in small letter x is also small letter and you can write it as x of t also x of t also then if you take the laplace transformation of f of t then that is called as f of s capital f of s and then this x of t if you apply the laplace transformation for this x of t or simply x that is equal to x of s capital x of s now take the ratio output by input x of s by f of s you have to find out right so in order to find out the transfer function what is the first thing that we have to do so first you draw the free body diagrams for both these blocks there is m1 and there is m2 and uh, with respect to m1 there are the various elements which are associated so you represent in the free body diagram a free body diagram is nothing but it is a raw diagram raw diagram means that simply you have to show this block first or mass element and you represent <coughs> various forces acting on that mass element forces with respect to two different elements so k1 f1 and these are the two common elements so the forces with respect to these two also will act on this therefore if you consider the block 1 mean mass element m1 so what are the forces so with respect to m1 there is a force that is f sub x m that will acts upon this body as well as this is k1 with respect to k1 there is a force that is f sub x k1 f k1 f i mean force with respect to this uh, f1 force with respect to f force with respect to k 1 2 3 4 5 because the five elements we have to consider and correspondingly we have to draw the differential equation and you call that as equation number 1 after that we have to apply the laplace transformation for that similarly take the second one 
for this also we have to draw the free body diagram and we have to represent various forces acting on this okay and uh, from that we have to write the differential equation and apply the Laplace transformation and uh, so with these two equations with respect to m1 you will have one differential equation with respect to m2 you have another differential equation so by uh, substituting one equation into another so you will definitely will get the transfer function let us see now in the solution part i will explain you the free body diagram so this is solution i am going to explain you solution let us draw the free body diagram the free body diagram for m1 for m1 let us say is it not <coughs> for m1 so you just draw this is m1 on this element what are the forces definitely the first force is f sub x m1 that is the force with respect to mass m1 and f sub x k1 also this is one the force with respect to k1 the force with respect to k1 also and next this is the force f with respect to f1 so it is force actually with respect to f1 okay what is the force that we have to see and then f suffix f force with respect to f means this f so normally in sometimes they will give f as b b so here also b1 so in this problem it is given f and f1 nothing wrong in that sometimes in some exact questions they will give you this dash part as b and the friction of friction coefficient also b or b1 both are same both are friction only this is f suffix f and similarly what is f suffix k this so how many basically with respect to m1 is the first one the, with respect to m1 what is the opposing force f suffix m that is what the first force second force third one fourth and fifth how many are there one two three four five yes you got all the forces now now so here f of t is applied on m2 only therefore with respect to m1 f of t is zero so with respect to m1 so your f of t is 0 no f of t that's why you don't bother about that f of t is it not so these are the forces normally acting on m1 and now what is the displacement to be considered here for example for each block i mean for each mass element for each mass element there will be some kind some uh, amount of displacement will be there some amount of displacement will be there so okay so here with respect to this there is no displacement is given in the problem so in that case nothing wrong in that you can imagine some x1 let us you 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 imagine the displacement here as x1 nothing wrong therefore here the displacement you can consider as x1 nothing wrong because because I will you will you will definitely understand about this y x1 and what what is the benefit or there is nothing wrong to consider x1 okay now these are the forces and the displacement we have imagined as x1 now you write the force balance equation now from this what are the forces actually now 
I can erase this part. Okay, I, I can erase this one. So now, now this means this means what is the total forces according to Newton's second law? You can write according to Newton's second law. Newton's second law. The sum of forces equal to zero. Mean the sum of forces equal to zero. That means F M one plus F K one plus F F one plus F F plus F K equal to zero. This is what this is what one two three four five five types of forces will be acting on this body now. Now I can erase this also. Now carefully follow. This implies what is F M one? What is F M one? Force equation. So your F M one is nothing but M one into d square x one by d t square. Am I clear? Already in the last presentation, I think in the eighteenth presentation in our class eighteen, you just refer that you definitely will understand. Or even if you refer the class seventeen, you definitely will uh, understand how this equation I am writing. This already I explained there. Okay, so F M one is nothing but M one into d square x by d t square plus F K one force with respect to K one. So that is nothing but K one into You are x one only. Why? Because, okay. Plus, what is f f one with respect to dash part? That is nothing but f one into d x one by d t. Plus, f f suffix f means f is the force with respect to the common element f. Means you can write f in bracket, and this f is a Common in between the displacement x1 and then x. Therefore, you can write f into d x1 by d t minus d x by d t. Is it not? Because this f is there between two blocks m1 and then m2. Here m1 we have imagined as x1 as the displacement. Already in the problem itself is given that for uh, with respect to m2 the displacement is x. Therefore. For uh, for this equation dash part f, the force with respect to dash part is proportional to the velocity that is dx by dt. Therefore, the expression will comes like f into dx one by dt minus dx by dt. It is dx one by dt minus dx by dt. Is it not? Plus plus with respect to f k means your k into uh, what is this? X one minus x equal to zero. This is whatever. This is whatever equation. This is called the differential equation. Now we can call it as equation number one. Understood? This equation. Let us see this equation. This is in terms of d square x one by d t square. Derivative portion. This is derivative portion. Derivative portion. These are the constant. However. So this equation is called the differential differential equation with respect to mass element m1. <clears throat> so understood. This is called this expression is called differential equation. Sometimes in examination it will be asked. Write the differential equation. This is what your differential equation. With respect to m1, with respect to, I mean your uh, mass element m1 is concerned. And after this, what we should do for this expression? 
we have to apply the Laplace transformation. This implies now by applying now by applying by applying Laplace transformation by applying Laplace transformation what we will get what we will have after the application of the Laplace transformation how it will becomes so it is m1 into it is second derivative therefore s square into x1 of s am I clear plus it is k1 into x1 of s plus f1 is f1 only what is this first derivative means s into x1 of s plus it is f into s into x1 of s minus s into x of s plus k into x1 of s minus x of s equal to 0. This is what after application of the Laplace transformation for this equation number 1. M1 is M1 only. So, it is a d square by dt square means second derivative. Definitely s square will come and x1 becomes capital x1 of s. Similarly, for all these, for all these, uh, uh, I mean, uh, 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 I mean terms, for all these terms, if you apply the Laplace transformation, it will be, becomes like this. It will become like this. Now, now, from this expression, or you can call it as equation number 2 for your convenience. So, you can, you can, you can call the first equation that is the differential equation as equation number 1. Now, for this differential equation, you apply the Laplace transformation and you will get something and you can call this expression as equation number 2. And from this, you, 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 you obtain uh, the value of x, x1 of s. You just, uh, you just uh, simplify this further and get the value of x1 of s. What the value of x1 of s? How it could be achieved or how it could be? So, from the second equation, because little bit bigger problem it is. So, I think if you understand this and almost all the concept of uh, mechanical almost all, means you already understood from x1 of this implies let us take x1 of s as common take x1 of s as common what is m1 s square plus x1 of s we have taken as common then you will have k1 here plus x1 of s already came outside s into f1 And here also x1 of s, s f, it is x of s, let us see that, no problem. And here x1 of s you have taken as common, therefore you will get k only, k only from here. And what parameters are left out here? f into, f into this second term, s into x of s k into x of s. This means that you can close here plus or otherwise it is minus actually plus into minus minus and again plus into minus minus. Both minus terms are there. Therefore, you can take uh, as minus x of s as common because in both x of s is there. So, here x of s is there, here x of s is there. Therefore, if you take minus x of s as common, minus x of s as common, minus x of then s into f. So, s into f will come in bracket and uh, minus x of s you have taken uh, common then what you will have? It is actually plus into minus minus k minus k therefore 
if you minus already there outside therefore you can write plus k plus k equal to 0 because it is minus x and minus into plus minus so minus should come here therefore clear clear from this equal to so from this wow from this you obtain the value of x1 of s for that what we have to do x1 of s is equal to this much and it is minus of this part therefore take this minus to right side therefore it will become plus 1 means that x x1 of s it is m1 s square plus here in this again s is common we can write f1 plus f plus k1 plus k as constant. Shall I write like this? There is nothing wrong here if you write like this because it is a second order equation in s therefore s square and s power 1 and s power 0 should come actually in order we have to write. Therefore it is m1 x square if you take s as common in both elements here sf1 sf if you take s as common here then f1 plus f will come in bracket and plus k1 plus k both are the constant that's why I have written like this and take this part complete portion on the right side or it is side means it comes as x of s into s into f plus k is it not and from this you obtain the value of x1 of s so your x1 of s is equal to what is that so it is x of s into sf plus k by entire this portion the bracket portion comes in the numerator part denominator part it is m1 s square plus s into f1 plus f plus k1 plus k so this is what your x1 of s this is what your x1 of s now call it as equation number 3 we are seeing different equations now so the first equation is the first differential equation and the second one is nothing but the Laplace transformation of the differential equation and the third one is this one x1 of s equal to I mean this is the thing we have obtained from the free body diagram of from first block now similarly you have to apply I mean you have to draw the free body diagram for the second one second one so I will erase this just you remember this expression this is very much important actually this you have to remember somehow now I erase this. Ah, what is the free body diagram of the second block? It is free body diagram of M2 is as shown below. Is as shown below these are shown below okay then then draw how it should be how it should be it is like this is m2 and definitely it is x output is given this is your fm2 and the another force is f with respect to f1 is it not f1 only now f1 or f2 it is it is f2 second no? it is f2 then again common friction element is there no ff ff and f2 and uh, 
common spring constant is also there f k okay 1 f m 2 f f 2 okay then okay 1 2 3 4 4 forces and then f of t your f of t is like this so these are the forces acting on m2 now so from this what we can write here from this diagram by newton second law you can write this fm2 plus ff2 plus ff plus fk is equal to your f of t you can write like this okay understood what is fm2 fm2 is nothing but fm is the force with respect to m2 this is the force with respect to m2 opposing force actually all these forces are opposing forces with respect to that element so fm2 m2 is nothing but m2 mass element 2 and f is the force offered by this opposing force of offered by this mass element 2 ff2 ff2 is nothing but the frictional force is already explained in the problem that is the the friction coefficient with that uh, friction coefficient what is the force offered that is what this ff is common fk is also common uh, anyhow f of t is the applied force now so i i erase this free body diagram and now here you write what is fm2 your fm2 is nothing but m2 into d square x by dt square because it is x only not x1 already we have imagined the displacement with respect to m1 as x1 but in the problem itself it is given the displacement with respect to m2 as x itself therefore it is m2 d square x by dt square only and plus it is ff2 is nothing but ff2 is nothing but f2 into dx by dt plus ff ff means it is a common f is equal to it is common and considering as the second displacement therefore you can write dx by dt minus dx1 by dt as we are considering the second block therefore the displacement with respect to the second you have to write the first minus this one plus fk fk is nothing but k into x minus x1 is equal to it is f of t only this implies now you can write it as equation number 4 continuously all writing now. this is the differential equation actually this is the called differential equation with respect to m2 with respect to mass element m2 are we? okay now now by the application of the laplace transformation by the by the application of the laplace transformation what can be written here it is m2 into s square into x of s plus it is f2 s into x of s plus f into ah uh, what is this x of s i mean s into x of s minus it is s into x1 of s it is x of s only it is x1 of s because it is x1 don't confuse it is k it is x of s minus x1 of s is equal to it is f of s because the laplace transformation of f of t is f of s now you can call it as equation number 5 because fourth equation is the differential equation and your fifth equation has the laplace transformation upon the application of the laplace transformation this will becomes like this and here what you can write what you can write so you can uh, separate x x x of s value as well as x1 of s value 
equal to f of s is there. Therefore, so it is better to write this expression little bit down here. So I can write here the same x1 of s value I am writing here x1 of s for my reference it is x of s sf plus k by m1 s square plus s into f1 plus f plus k in k1 plus k I am writing little bit down because I want to use this space here. That's why just remember this x of 1 s. What is this? This implies and further this implies this implies what we can write. So, you can write like this. Take x of s as common. If you take x of s as common, x of s here is there, here is there here is there and here is there take all the x of s then x of s if you take outside what is proportion here what is m2 into s square is it not plus x of s take outside s into f2 will be there here sf2 take x of s as common here s into f will be there is it not from here if you take a khali you will have a k that is what if you take x of s as common and then and then what are the x1 values so what are the x1 f into minus s of x1 of s it is again minus x1 of s therefore you can take minus x1 of s as common take x1 of s as common then you will have s into f sf is it not here you will have plus so x1 of s you take common it is plus k plus k is equal to f of s clear clear now this implies here so now substitute your x1 of s value so this is your x1 of s value you substitute this value here then completely it will come in terms of x of s only is it not now take the ratio x of s by f of s that's all very simple substitute now by sub by substituting x1 of s value here so then what will come it is x of s m2 s square plus s into f2 plus sf plus k minus what is your x of s i mean x1 of s it is nothing but x of s into sf plus k s into f plus k your x, x1 of s i am writing actually x1 of s by by what is this m1 s square plus s into f1 plus f plus k1 plus k is it not that is equal to your Emphasis. So, so it means we have to simplify very carefully step by step process we have to simplify. So, it is given like this only. This is what your uh, x of s and this will be your uh, okay. Then, then what can be done here? Here x of s is there. Here also x of s is there. Take x of s as common. Take x of s as common. Then what, what then what you will have? It is here m2 s square s into f2. Or otherwise, one thing you can do here. Because 
here s term is there sf2 sf from there you can take s as common then in bracket you can write f2 plus f itself plus k minus is it not completely you write in bracket itself otherwise then write the minus here then x of s is already taken out then what you will have it is sf plus k by it is m1 s square plus s f1 plus f plus k1 plus k is it not this you can write in bracket also and you write big bracket otherwise is equal to f of s okay therefore x of s into the entire is in bracket then again what 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 you can do here what you can do here take the cross multiplication uh, the simplification you know no so this entire part multiplied by this part this into this minus this by this is equal to f of s then finally what i have to write is x of s by f of s that is the ratio i should need so that is nothing but it is x of s is there it is f of s is there your transfer function is equal to x of s by f of s bring this f of s to the left side comes here and and uh, you can shift this entire uh, parameter whatever quantity is there in between this bracket total whole from here to here you take the outside then it will become like this uh, okay almost all we reach to the final so finally finally this implies what i should need na transfer function is equal to it is what is this x of s by f of s output is x of s only input is this only so x of s let it be here only bring that f of s to this side means x of s by f of s then you shift everything to the right side then it comes 1 by because it is in multiplication if it goes to right side it goes to the i mean divide this is m2 s square plus s f2 plus f plus k minus sf plus k this one by m1 s square plus s into f1 plus f plus k1 plus k is it not is equal to so you don't have any this thing there because f of already have taken the ratio this finally can also be simplified as this simplification only there is nothing difficult actually in this it is purely very interesting and uh, this is your x of s by finally x of s by f of s is equal to what you will write and uh, take the cross multiplication here and these two will be multiplied minus this and by this one and if you take the again finally then out obviously this will comes to the upper portion actually it comes numerator then i can write like this is it not is it not means you could have your final answer as m1 s square plus s into f1 plus f plus k1 plus k i think all this comes to the numerator part and your denominator what you will have you know this entire quantity multiplied by with this means you can write either this as first means as this one m1 s square plus s into f1 plus f plus k1 plus k into this part 
एम टू एस स्क्वायर प्लस एस एफ टू प्लस एफ प्लस के ओके दिस टू माइनस हियर एक्चुअली द कंटिन्यूस पार्ट आई विल राइट इन हियर माइनस एस एफ प्लस के सो दिस इज वॉट यूवर ट्रांसफर फंक्शन फाइनली इज इट नॉट सो एम वन एस स्क्वायर प्लस एस इंट एफ वन प्लस एफ प्लस के वन प्लस के बाई दिस टू विल बी मल्टीप्लाइड माइनस एस एफ प्लस के बाय दिस वन विल बी देयर नाउ इफ यू रीअरेंज दिस दिस पार्ट विल पोज टू अप एंड रिमेनिंग एवरी थिंग दिस ओनली सो दिस इज वॉट यूवर ट्रांसफर फंक्शन फ्रेंड्स it is very very important model remember that that's why very uh, patiently i am explaining this because you must understand very well how the three body diagram is to be drawn and how the forces will be represented on this body how the differential equations written for that how the laplace transformation will be applied and finally how we are simplifying the expression in order to get the transfer function it is very very important and even it will be expected in your ies examination also and in a, especially in the academics you will get is it not so i think this is very simplest uh, i mean uh, method of uh, finding the transfer function for the mechanical translational system so with this uh, i would like to conclude uh, this presentation here and uh, we will uh, continue uh, with uh, with some more examples in the next subsequent presentations i think you have enjoyed uh, this presentation and expect uh, expecting from you that your comments and suggestions and definitely you should uh, uh, address me uh, your uh, feedbacks and suggestions even comments also and definitely i request you to if you like this you definitely like it and uh, you can share to your friends and uh, so that you will understand the concepts of this particular topic so with this uh, i conclude this present today's presentation okay thank you thank you one and all